Hi there everybody, Chris here. If I have my Basutu blanket on, you know that it is a cold day in Johannesburg. Um, but I'm just doing a voiceover on this video, so I don't think you'll mind if I wear my Basutu blanket for this one. Uh, let me quickly show you the difference between a battery monitor that works with a shunt and also a uh, battery voltmeter. Uh, there is a difference. The normal one that everybody knows, the voltmeter, is this one. And then um, the battery monitor that works with the shunt is uh, this new smart shunt by Victron, or otherwise the BMV uh, 712, which has a dial connected to it. But let me show you the difference. So what I did was to set up an experiment. And uh, this is my small experiment, a 27 amp hour battery. Um, connected to that, I have the normal uh, National Lunar Battery Monitor, the voltmeter, with the orange, green, and red lights. And then I also have uh, the smart shunt that in this case is connected to the, um, to the dial that you see in the front. I also have a CTEC charger on the side, and this CTEC charger we will use to simulate a battery that is being charged by a vehicle idling or running or a solar panel for that matter. So to start off, you can see we are at 100% on all fronts. Uh, the battery monitor is showing 100%, the National Lunar is showing 100%. And the first thing we need to do is to switch on the fridge. As soon as the switch, fr fridge switches on, you can see we drop the yellow light. That is because of the current that is now being drawn from the battery. So the battery is um, basically dropping in voltage because of the current flowing out. After half an hour we have lost uh, three lights on the voltage meter. So you can see the battery has dropped to 96% according to the shunt. And then if you've ever woken up while you're camping and you hear this noise then you know there is a problem. The uh, alarm has gone off on the voltmeter but you can see the shunt is still showing 79 percent and that is because the current is being drawn from the battery the battery drops in voltage and is now seeing a lower voltage so if we talk about energy the battery still have energy left but the voltage is showing very low because there's a current draw and then when we plug the battery back in, so we simulate a starting, we're going for a drive, you can see the green lights are all back up to full, and if you were camping, you would now think that this is great. The green lights are there, but if you look at the shunt, you'll see we are still only at 80%. So we switch the vehicle off, and we only drop one yellow light. We think, ah, oh, maybe it's not too bad, uh, this, is, this is still alright. But if you look at the shunt, we are still only at 80%. The, the battery capacity or the batteries, the battery's state of charge have not changed at all. And we decide to idle the vehicle for a little bit and, and just see if it makes a difference. And as you would expect, we back up and we have green lights again and everything is great. But again, if you look at the shunt, you will see we are still only at 80%. And... Um, that is the main difference. If you were to believe your voltmeter, you would never really know exactly where you are on the battery's capacity. What is your actual state of charge? Uh, the shunt will show you exactly where you are on state of charge. So you want to use a shunt as the be-all and end-all as far as your battery capacity is going. Now remember that lithium is charged at a higher voltage than lead acid and that means that your shunt is very important in this case because the normal voltmeter will not tell you the exact uh, capacity state of charge based on the voltage because you need to know what the lithium levels are for a specific voltage. So it's always the safest way to use a shunt and use a real battery monitor with a shunt in it.